loving those vibes at the start. Hello and welcome back to another episode of our channel on Rugby Six Nations Simulation in association with Carry Out Off Licence. And they have some cracking deals ahead for the match this weekend and it is a big one. This is the biggest match of uh, the real Six Nations. This is the biggest match of the John Lomu Six Nations simulation. It's Ireland versus England. Now we haven't decided what teams we're gonna be. We need to set the scene here for mm -hmm. those of you who haven't been keeping up. Uh, the series is currently, Ireland are two and two. The two wins, two losses from this uh, from this tournament. What happened at the start? We, we lost to Scotland in lost the first game. Scotland. That happened that in was, real life. Yeah. Then we played. We beat Italy. We beat Italy. Yeah. That happened in real life. And that happened in real life. And but then, then we got worried. Yeah. Then we started to worry whether we were actually having a, an effect on Ireland's results. But then France beat Ireland in the simulation. Yeah. And Ireland beat France in real life. So, you know, there's a scary couple of days. There's yeah. that theory yeah. out of the uh, <laughs> out of the idea. Um, and then then we had Wales and Ireland. Wales beat yeah. Ireland. No. No, Ireland, Ireland beat Wales. Wales five nil. It was <laughs> it was a pretty really dramatic match. If you want to yeah. go back, it was Mark and uh, Mark Farley and, and Gavin Casey yeah. were playing it. Now I wanted <laughs> us to play the next day. Me and you both weren't in that day, and I yeah. said we should play the next day and just call that the Wolfhounds game. Yeah, because it was terrible. But I'm happy to say <laughs> the A team is back. Here we are uh, for the final game, which is England Ireland. But neither of us want to be England. This is the but thing. also neither of us want to be Ireland. This is the problem here because Ireland are so bad on John Lomu, and England are one of the legitimate best teams in the game. It's the way it was in the nineties. Uh, so. But we just don't want to be England. No, <laughs> we you, don't want to be, you don't want to be like. So we're going to do is we're going to have a rock hatchet. paper scissors. We're going to do one two three go. Okay. And then one, the two, winner, three, go. The winner yeah. gets to choose Ireland or England. Okay. okay ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you choose so Ireland or England. So I. Uh, oh God, I'm going to get a spanking, but I'll I'll, I'll, I'll have to. I you have to stay loyal. He's I'll going to go Ireland. That I'll means, have to be Ireland. That means I'm England. All right, I have to assume a certain type of uh, <laughs> mindset now to play as England. Just better than everything. Better really. than me. Better, you can pick I any of say. these teams, mate. You can pick any of them. Any of them. Okay, well, I've recovered. <laughs> no. I'll um, be Ireland. All right, here we go. So, uh, <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. Yeah. Well, I I think you're the better uh, John Lomu player. I think I'm happy to admit okay. that at this point in the series. Will we go badly down for old time's sake? Yeah, go on. The home of uh, John Lomu Ruby. Um, and these are all... And oh, penalties okay. offside. Yes. Fails offsides? Or no, just... fails, no offside, just fails. Yeah, fails. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Let's see these teams. Let's I think I've this. got a significantly better team. <laughs> I think so, yeah. On, on Bob Andrew? Um, oh no, it's, Simon it's all, about Kat, it's all about Underwood as well. He's Matt Dawson. This is a more yeah. updated team than you normally Jason see. Jason um, Leonard. What a servant to the game. Brian right? Moore. Yeah, there's some good names. Yeah. And you've got. I've got Gabriel Fulcher. You've got Simon Gay. So there. there's it's that. Better. And Nick yeah. Popperwell. What a beast yeah. he was. Greystone's legend. Uh, that's, I've got uh, Peter Matney playing on the wing. Where he's used to. All right, let's send them deep. Okay. That's, uh -oh. the, that's the tactic. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. I can't. Oh, I've accidentally tried to kick that ball there now. It's circle. It's oh, that's not the right man to kick the ball there. It's circle to join the rock. You'll remember it? that my uh, kicking game uh, was outstanding for France a couple of weeks ago. What did I do there? Oh. Oh, Run. not like that. He's one of a kind. Oh, he's kicked it over his own head. That's a bit dumb. Again, apologies for any madness. It's really difficult to play this game. It's going to be very hard for <laughs> Ireland when they keep kicking the ball every time they get yeah, it I'm, here. I'm also, I've forgotten how to change player. Oh, it was perfect. We were in for a try. England might not be as good as France here, you know. That's true. Johnson. Oh, Martin Johnson, if he gets... England, England's team seems to be a little bit more up to date than um, all the others. <laughs> oh, good play by Jeremy Guskett there. Yeah, down the wing, completely free, and pops it into touch. Oh, terrible oh, line. It's malfunctioning for England early on. And Dawson's on it. This, oh, is a, this is a Rory Best line out, I would say. Yeah, God, right, okay. has been the real cause. Oh, that's problems. terrible behaviour. No. Right, my guy's a mile offside here, but luckily Grayson. there's no offsides. Grayson's got a bit of pace. Can we get that out wide? Oh no, see I can't rook. That's my issue in Jonah, I cannot rook. <laughs> Touch George, yeah, I was going to say if he didn't give that. We go short line out because we don't know how to do them the other way. Um, Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, disaster. Um, oh, no, oh, oh, no, 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 oh, England. Ireland just holding on for dear life here. It's like a game in the 90s against England. Oh, I think I can turn this one over. Oh. No, I think I'm going to turn it back. Oh, it's a terrible pass. What is that? Oh, he gifted a line out to England on the five-yard line. 
Don't forget to get your comments in. We'll uh, we'll get to some of them if if uh, you know if Arlo can get off the this, line at any let's stage. Let's have some score predictions for the weekend. Do you think we're gonna do it? Do you think we're gonna spoil the party? Um, I like I will spoil this party. Well, you if know. I can stop <laughs> kicking the ball, oh, well, just throw it out for a long time. Right shocking <laughs> rugby. Probably the least eventful. If anybody's uh, at home who's like a, a John Alamu beast, they're probably watching us and just being like, God, "What is going on?" Have I taken that? Yeah. Oh, I thought I had it. My guys are so offside. Can I just pick the, the ball? Outside doesn't even help though. It just leaves me a man short in defence. Another lineup. This is boring. <laughs> I mean, don't admit it. We can't help but try to all been like this. But we're trying um, our best. You really, you really see the age of John Lomu Ruby when you try and play a competitive game of it. Uh, I'll stop <laughs> kicking it. It's just so difficult to control what these virtual blobs that resemble Ruby <laughs> players are doing. <laughs> ah, I'm, gonna line it. <laughs> I'm just going to stop passing. I'm just going to stop passing is entirely. Huge. He is. They've made him obscenely big in this game. Oh, stole oh, that. I've, 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 by the way, this is a terrible line out so far from Ireland. How did you even get that ball? Every single one of their own line outs. Oh, he just dropped it in the tackle. Oh no, the virtual crowd are swinging swing low, sweet chariot. I know it's in support <laughs> of me, but I don't like it at all. Come on, Gagan. Oh no. Okay, I've developed a bit of a tactic now. Give it to fast people and zigzag. Yeah, do how the do old, you know who's fast? Do the old rugby game zigzag. No, oh, there's a try. Oh, terrible tackling. Oh, he's got the run on! <laughs> this is a story of my John Lama career! Dropping the ball over the try line. Putting the door on the forwards. Half time. Oh, what a Jesus! <laughs> Ireland defend <laughs> until they die. The heart <laughs> of this team. That's what we're going to need to see the heart this weekend. Of this team. That's what we're going to need to see. Um, oh my god. Elwood, the kick. Right, don't Elwood think. kicking it off. Okay, come on, Eric. To Let's go to the backs. Team Look, on. cheeky one. Okay, we've got a bit of space. Oh no. I just need one kick at goal here. I need you to give me a high tackle or something. Eric oh, Elwood will put you away. That was Cat. Another line out. We'll just have another line out. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I think we've actually been playing it too long now. I'm, I'm kind of glad the situation is over. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe like if we, the next time we do rugby. Oh, I don't want one of their own lines and then Grubber <laughs> kick it for no reason. <laughs> but this is where you want me. Although, I don't forget my kicking uh, game is oh, just tend to bring out there. the most tries. Can't see the ball in there. What's funny is I've always hated England at rugby so much. I don't think I've ever played a game of this game with them in it. That, yeah, you know, I, I genuinely don't think I've ever. You controlled wouldn't play against is. them or for them. Oh, you oh, get in. It's a maternity ward, Mikey. Can I? You can't pick and go in this game, can you? Uh, I was trying it there on the end of the ruck just before half time. It didn't seem oh, to work. See, when you they can drop do it the from the, the you can do it from the ruck. I don't know if you can do it in the back of the mall. This game. Oh, I just. Can't Come on now, Ireland. This is your one chance. Bounds. Win 22. Win one line out. I have you sussed from Bloody line Bloody hell. Clark. Going in well. Why would Kick you just it. drop it? Kick it. Oh. Oh, okay. Will well, Carling is on this England team. We're not allowed like them. Now, you're not even allowed to try to win this game. I'm, I'm going to try and win, but I'm not going to be happy about it. It's the competitive nature. We will have... Uh, oh, no! Where's Conor O'Shea? Yeah. Are, you, are you joking me with that tackle? I'm in. Oh, England look, have chasing you. She's England like the are going to win this. Man of all time. England are going to win this. Why are you doing this? Oh. Just get it over. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Oh. A very strange try, I have to say. Watch me botch this conversion. No, you, can, you couldn't even miss this if you, you tried. Are you sure? Yeah. John Lum is like mad. Just press X. Okay, yeah. Spits the post. Grayson scores. Ireland need to answer in about 45 seconds, or this is going to be a grand slam for. These lads. No, I'm just going to no. outpace. <laughs> this yeah. better not happen at the weekend. All right, that was a lovely switch. I won't like a 7 0 win with a Will Carlin try at no, the weekend. That no, won't do it all. I don't think anybody wants to see that. Who's the new Will Carlin? Um, Hartley. Yeah, oh, no, well, yeah, I mean, technically. I mean, well, no, um, what's his face? Jonathan Mike, uh, Mike Brown. Oh, yeah, Mike Brown, exactly. Oh, God damn it. Mike Brown is the new Will Carlin. This is going to be a win for uh, Yeah, for I think England. this is pretty much over here unless something mad happens. I should have thrown this game. The, the English line has been impeccable. <laughs> it has. All it's day. dominated. I mean, seriously, there, there needs to be serious yeah. questions in the Irish coaching staff. Ahead about of the there. next John Lummy simulation. Ahead of next season. <laughs> this is where you know? are you going? I have to try something mad. It's like Ireland against <laughs> Wales last weekend. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's a beautiful touch finder. No, it's going to. Okay, you're right. 
And there it is. So this has been a very upsetting performance. There it is. Performance, England 7, Ireland 0. From a personal point of view, I'm not even happy to get the win. I'm honestly not even happy to get the win. It's like playing with a five-star team against a three-star team in FIFA. But England have won. Look at that possession. Look at the territory. The next page of stats isn't really worth it. Um, oh, I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up there. It's time to go to the post-match interviews down on the touchline. Our man Stephen's there. England coach Michael Trainer, congratulations, another, another fine performance, another grand slam in fact on the belt, how does it feel? Well, it, it feels normal to be honest because English rugby is so superior to everything really, you know, in the existence of the world. Uh, this is just another, another notch on the bedpost if you will, it's another grand slam, we're not going to get too fussed about it. Uh, we, it would have been nice for, for ERA to, uh, to be able to celebrate a win on uh, St. Patrick's Day and all that, but you know, ultimately we're in the business of getting wins and that's what we've done today. Ireland came today, they really, really put it up to you in defence, you couldn't get through for a long time. Were you ever worried? Were you ever worried? No. I mean, you look at their team and who've they got? Gagan, who's about, he's like a 12 year old really in terms of physicality. Nick Popperwell, I mean, he's just not going to worry players of the calibre of Martin Johnson, the man that is Martin Johnson on his own could have beaten this team today. It's really, it's really how it is. You going to win the World Cup? Yeah. Okay. Have you got some real questions for me or can I go? Congratulations, mate. Yeah, cheers. Give us a hug. All right, no, get away from me. I'm here with defeated Ireland coach uh, Mick McCarthy. Mick, obviously, uh, the English uh, getting the title celebration in the Aviva Stadium is something no Irish rugby fan wants to see. Give me your, give me an insight into your thoughts and feelings at this moment in time. Well, I suppose first of all, it's it's Ballydown Park we're playing in the, the Aviva Stadium it hasn't even been built yet. But you know, like I mean, that was diabolical, as diabolical a before of a performance in Irish rugby that I've ever seen. It's not good enough. I mean, we may as well not have had a line out. We may as well have just threw the ball to England and said, come at us, lads. Because for all the work we've done during the week, those lads weren't listening to a jot I was saying. And it's a disgrace of a performance. Um, Conor O'Shea is someone who's come in for a lot of criticism over the course of the tournament. How do you think he performed today? Ah, look, he was as bad as the rest of them. But, you know, he wasn't the worst either. He, he, he made a tackle there and it, it led to a try eventually, but sure, that was the only thing he was asked to do. I'm more interested in the, the props trying to kick the ball over their head in defence and stuff every time we got the ball. Sure, what, what was the point of that? Like? It's certainly, uh, it, I've gone English now in, uh, in, in, my, in my analysis, so I'll, I'll wrap it up by saying, uh, have you any parting message to the English team? They've already started their celebrations. I hope New Zealand put... 200 points on them when they go down under this summer. But other than that, I wish them the best. Fair play to them. They beat us fair and square. Mick McCarthy, thank you very much. Thank you. So you've had the reaction from the coaches there and the many, the many different journalists in attendance. Um, here we are, England 7, Ireland 0, it's a score nobody wants to see, but it's happened. That brings a conclusion to our uh, General Ireland Rugby Six Nations uh, simulation, if you want to call it. It was for a while there, we were predicting the <laughs> results. But a uh, huge thank you to everyone who's tuned in. A huge thank you to Carry Out for getting involved and sponsoring this uh, this simulation series, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, John Alomu, maybe next time do a, a yeah. more recent rugby game. I mean, game. don't get me wrong, <laughs> I, I still think it's the greatest rugby game ever played. Yeah. I It's just come a little bit down in my estimation over the past seven weeks. But yeah. 
It's the same with any. Have you tried? Have you tried to play GoldenEye recently? Like it's it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> it's not, games don't age well. That's you know. But John Alamu, it's still playable. Um, yeah. The kicks are absolutely yeah. insane. I'd like us to be able to update the teams. I don't know if Gabriel Fulcher cool. is offering much to an Irish yeah. team in, in 2017. But you know. you'd have to wonder if that's even possible on the PC version or something. But that's those skills we do not obtain at the minute. What we do have is the skill to play an absolutely. Shocking game for the neutral uh, in John and I'm rugby, <laughs> and we've done that. England have gotten the win. Let's hope, let's cross everything we can possibly cross in the hopes that Ireland cannot let this happen. Now we're going to ruin the, the party thing. tomorrow. It's what we're good at. It or is so Saturday. Well, yeah, we, Paddy's weekend. Yeah. Paddy's England weekend. Going for the grand slam. It has to be. It has to be our time. We ruin parties.